Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Today, we are going to continue our discussion on EMC consideration. The earlier on video, we have talked about the effect of magnetic or inductive coupling. Today, we are going to discuss how we can reduce the magnetic or inductive coupling. This will be the part 10 series. The earlier on series discussion on EMC, I have put the video link under the description. So please go through the video if you are keen to know more about EMC. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to help this channel by like and subscribe. We really need the like and subscribe in order to improve the service of this channel. So thank you guys. I really appreciate your effort. How can we reduce the magnetic coupling? Okay, the voltage Vn that induced in a closed loop of area A due to a magnetic flux B okay, can be actually derived from Faraday's law. Okay, so this is a Faraday's law. And based on the Faraday's law, we can calculate how much noise they actually couple over as a magnetic coupling. Okay, if the closed loop is stationary and the flux density is sine wave, okay, basically they vary with time, but they are all constant over the area of the loop, okay, then the equation can be reduced in this form. So this is a Faraday's law, and then we can reduce the equation in this form. Okay, from this equation, you can see that if we want to reduce the noise, okay, we can reduce the B or we can reduce the A. Okay, so if we can reduce the B, the flux density or the area, we effectively also reduce the noise based on this equation here. Okay, so later on, I'm going to explain how can we reduce the B, the flux density and also the area. Okay, since BA cosine theta represent the total magnetic flux okay, coupled to the recipient circuit, the induced voltage Vn can be expressed in this form. Okay, so this form I have explained on my previous video. For magnetic coupling, the noise that couple over, they become a voltage source. And basically, they are represent in this equation here. Okay, so if you are keen, okay, please look at the part 9 series discussion on EMC, okay, which I have extensively explained about this equation here. Okay, how can we reduce the magnetic coupling? Okay, so we know that if we are able to reduce the magnetic coupling, we actually reduce the Vn. So the fundamental is how can we reduce the magnetic coupling coefficient M12. Okay, so there are several suggest method. One is to reduce the magnetic flux B, reduce the loop area A. Okay, so later on, I will explain to you by twist the wire, Okay, we can actually reduce the magnetic flux and the loop area. Okay, by proper orientation of the source and the receiver circuit. Okay, so basically by the cosine theta. Okay, so if we ensure properly design, okay, we can also reduce the noise that couple over. Next, use the ground plane for current return path. Okay, I'm going to explain with a diagram. Okay, how we can implement this ground plane. Okay, so when we actually implement this ground plane, we actually also indirectly reduce the magnetic flux and also reduce the loop area. Okay, so later on, I'm going to show you with an example how we can implement this. Okay, last but not least, okay, we can actually reduce the amount of current. Okay, you take note on this thing that I put. Okay, so we actually don't really reduce the amount of current. Okay, but we use a way or a technique how we can reduce the amount of current. Okay, firstly, okay, how can we reduce the area and then how can we reduce the B? Okay, so before I, I explain on this diagram here, okay, so take a look over here. So for example, these are the two wire, okay, they carry the source and the returning path here. Okay, so the area effectively will be in blue. Okay, so this is the area that you can calculate. Okay, so let's say if you are able to twist your wire in this way, Okay, can you see that your effectively area actually reduce? 
Okay, you can see there. Okay, it's definitely many times reduced from this form here. So remember earlier on the equation, okay, that mentioned that if we can reduce the area or the B, we actually reduce the noise. So with this, okay, we actually reduce the area, okay, by using a twist pair here. Okay, so this is one. Okay, we reduce the area by twisting the wire. And we have this twist pair, we actually reduce the area. Okay, when we actually twist pair the wire, okay, they actually have current that flow in the opposite direction. And when we have current that flow in the opposite direction, they generate magnetic flux okay, that oppose to each other. Okay, when they actually oppose to each other, some cancellation of magnetic flux or actually occur. So which means that the B is actually reduced. Okay, when the current flow in the opposite direction. Okay, so this is the benefit. Okay, why we need to implement twist pair. Okay, if we have EMC concern. Okay, next. Okay, we're going to use this ground plane for current return path. Okay, so to implement the image plane on a double side PCB. Okay, if not, okay, we should lay the signal lead and the return lead as close to each other as possible. Okay, so this will lead to the cancellation of EM radiation as the current flow in opposite direction and generate opposing magnetic field. Okay, and also the loop area will be small. Okay, so they will not be that vulnerable to generate interference. What does this mean? Okay, so this is the signal okay, that is on top of the PCB board, for example, here. So we purposely design a return current underneath the signal, directly underneath the signal. So when we actually do this, there are two motivation. One, you can see that the area actually reduced. Can you see here, you imagine this went all the way, you actually can see that the area actually reduced. Okay, the second reason is you can see that the current flow up and the returning the current actually flow down. So they actually flow in opposite direction. Remember when they flow in opposite direction, they generate magnetic flux. They actually cancel each other. And when they actually cancel each other, we actually reduce the B term. Can you still remember? So that's why it's very essential if we can implement ground plane okay, to effectively reduce the area and also the B term. Okay, next. Okay, how can we reduce the current? Okay, you can see this is the original signal that can carry the full current. Okay, but if we do a mirror image here, so the current actually reduced by half, can you see here? So the key thing is also when they actually reduce by half, okay, you, you can see that the, they radiate actually half as much or 6 dB less. So this is what it means. So this so-called half the current, they actually radiate half as much or even 6 dB less. So the upper loop and lower loop, okay, they actually radiate as almost the same. The total radiation is not the same as the original, okay, the magnetic dipole here. Okay, so which means that the combined effect, okay, from, from these two, okay, they won't be the same as the magnetic dipole one. So with this, you can also see that there is some cancellation of the current. Okay, so this also will reduce the B. Okay, so this is also one of the method how we can reduce the magnetic coupling. Okay, with this, I'd like to end my discussion. Again, guys, I need your help to like and subscribe. Thank you.